Today we're going to talk about how to create your own personal customized colors to use in your app. As we'll see shortly, Apple only provides about 15 colors that we can use out of the box. If you go to the developer page on Apple's uh, website, you can see that the color uh, properties are only about 15 different colors, pink, uh, purple, the main colors you can think of. And a lot of the times you'll need to use more than that. So let's create a new project, name it anything, it doesn't matter and we will see how this works. So just out of the box uh, in the hello world text, we can just quickly test out how colors are used. And this is something that everyone runs into. So we set foreground color to gray and we run our app very quickly to just demonstrate that our text is appearing in the default gray color that Apple has already provided. And there we go. So now what if we want this to be something uh, else? Uh, we have those 15 options, which are just standard colors and blue is one of the default ones, but that's used by um, like Apple apps uh, throughout. So sometimes we wanna use our own custom colors. And for that, we need to make an extension. So create a new file, name it color or something else, and you will need to import Swift UI. And let's create an extension of color. We will then within that create a public static uh, variable and say that it is uh, call it anything descriptive. My color in this case is probably not the best name, but it is if type color and we will set it equal to color UI color. Uh, and then we have to give it the red, green and blue values. So in this case, I'm going to start off by saying 255 out of 255 uh, for each of those. And then at the end, we can also set an alpha level, which I'm going to set to one. And that's it. We now have a new color we can use called my color. And if we go back to the content view and we set the text uh, foreground color to my color, run the app uh, and it should work. And we don't see anything, but it is actually working. Uh, the settings that we gave it 255 out of 255 for everything is the code for white. So let's change it to something else. And just lowering the value should give us a nice gray color, which, um, which there you go. So now we have our own customized gray color that we can use. And if we need more colors, we just copy and paste that and change the values to whatever we want. Here, we're going to make it to some random value, value so we can just demonstrate the point. Uh, set the alpha to 0 0.5 just to show what that looks like. And then we're going to create a new label uh, to show the new color. Uh, and we're going to wrap this in a V stack because uh, that's just how Swift UI likes things. And if we run this now with the two different colors, we'll see two different labels. Uh, and there you go. That's how you add more colors. If you need more, just keep adding them and keep using them. Hope that, hope that was helpful.